Hello, my dear friend. Have you ever wondered how God is like? I often wonder how God will be like um, when I meet him. Uh, the Bible from Genesis to Revelation talks about the nature of God. One of the most beautiful verses is in Exodus 34 verse 6 where God proclaims about himself to Moses. Let's see what it says. Exodus 34 verses 6 and 7 says, And the Lord passed by before him and proclaimed, The Lord, the Lord God, merciful and gracious, long-suffering and abundant in goodness and truth, keeping mercy for thousands, forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin, and that will by no means clear the guilty. So from this verse we know that God is merciful, God is gracious, God is long-suffering, God is abundant in goodness and in truth, He forgives our sins, but He will not clear the guilty, He will not acquit the guilty. All that God was and is can be seen in our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus, when he was on the earth, when he came and dwelt among men, he said, I and the Father are one. God, Jesus is God's own son. Everything that God is, is the character of Jesus. Jesus was merciful and gracious. We cannot forget the story in John 8. It's a beautiful story when a woman <clears throat> Sorry, when a woman who was taken in adultery in the very act was brought before Jesus and um, they um, they said to Jesus, that, that means the scribes and Pharisees who brought this woman to Jesus said, um, Master, this woman was taken in adultery in the very act. Moses in the law commanded us that such should be stoned. But what do you say? They said, tempting him and that might have to accuse him. Um, but Jesus, um, in verse 7, he says, He that is without sin among you, let him first cast a stone at her. Have you ever heard anything like that? Jesus told them, He that is without sin among you, let him first cast a stone at her. And they which heard it, being convicted by their own conscience, they went out one by one, beginning at the eldest, even unto the last. And Jesus was left alone, and the woman standing in the midst. And then Jesus says, Woman, where are those thine accusers? Have no man condemned thee? And she said, No man, Lord. And Jesus said to her, Neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. That is important. Go and sin no more. But look at the mercy and the grace, the graciousness of our Lord Jesus Christ. And that is um, the Lord's character. God's character is merciful and gracious, full of compassion. And his long suffering, um, Exodus 34 says that God is long suffering. And that long suffering nature of God can be seen in the Calvary cross where Jesus went and died for our sins. Um, when he went to the cross, we can see the long suffering nature of God at the cross of Calvary where he took our sins right he took our sins at the cross he took our pain at the cross he took our shame and our guilt at the cross he took yours and mine um, he took that shame and guilt to the cross of Calvary he took our sicknesses and our guilt we see the long-suffering nature of God at the cross of Calvary where God sent his own son he did not spare his own son but send him to die for us um, so that's the nature of God but one of the important nature that we see in the end is he by no means clear the guilty he forgives us when we come to him and ask him for his forgiveness through Christ Jesus because no one else died for you and me other than Lord Jesus Christ no one else took the sins to the cross other than the Lord Jesus Christ that is why salvation is only through the Lord Jesus Christ but then it says that he by no means will not clear, he will not acquit the wicked, he will not clear the guilty. There is a day of judgment coming. We can read that in Revelation um, 20 verses 11 onwards. It, show, it talks about the judgment, the final judgment. It says, And I saw a great white throne, and him that sat on him, it from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away there was found no more place for them and i saw the dead small and great stand before god and the books were opened and another book was opened which is the book of life 
and the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. So this is a recording of the future event that is going to happen. There is a great white throne where God sits on it and before, before that throne, uh, all the dead, the small and great stand before God and books are open. And there is a book called the book of life. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was church, was cast into the lake of fire. So this is this is our time, my dear friend, to come to God and receive his forgiveness. All he is saying is to receive his forgiveness, to accept him as our Savior, to accept Jesus Christ as our Savior. And let our names be written in the book of life. When our names are written, when we come to the Lord Jesus, he fills us with his grace, his compassion, so much of his peace in our life. That he is called the Prince of Peace and he fills us with life and peace. Let us make sure that the book of life, our names are written in the book of life. May God bless you with these words. All you need to do is, Lord, just pray this prayer. Lord Jesus, come into my life, forgive my sins. Um, may, may, I want you to be my Lord and Savior. If you pray that prayer and you believe with all your heart, believe it with all your heart, then he comes and um, he forgives and washes you and your name is written in the book of life. Here on God will lead us. Here on God will help us and strengthen us. Hold our hands. May God bless you with these words. If you like my videos, just subscribe. Um, and click on the bell icon. Do not forget to share. May God bless you with these words.